Welcome to Prime Time Analysis. I am your host Victor Onyango. Now, yesterday you remember that UDA party organized primaries and voter registration exercise in Mombasa County. And one thing that came out of this event is that there is a major fallout between the main point men of UDA party in the coastal region. As a voter in Mombasa County, I was surprised to see these two warring parties get to such nasty engagements. In this analysis, I want us to look at the major causes of the rift that happened between Mohamed Jopevu and Hassan Omar Sarai. Before we begin, for those who are watching us for the first time, please take a minute or two to subscribe to our channel and also like our videos. For those who have joined us in this journey, we thank you for the support and we believe that without our, your support, we could have not reached where we are today. Thank you and let's begin. I want us to look at three reasons why Hassan Sarai Omar and Muhammad Ali got into that serious altercation. The first reason that I want us to look at critically is the upcoming gubernatorial elections that are supposed to happen in 2027. If all of you remember, Hassan Sarai has run for gubernatorial elections almost three times. First of all, in 2013, he ran and became a senator. We remember that he also had ambitions of becoming the governor. But since he was in ODM, he was convinced to allow Hassan Joho to take up that position. In 2017, he ran in the NASA coalition. But in that coalition, we remember that he was running through Wiper Party and Hassan Joho was running in ODM. Hassan Joho floored him and he failed. In 2022, he again ran and in that election, he stood with the UDA party. But we realized that because Coast Region and specifically Mombasa County remains an ODM zone, Hassan Sarai was defeated by Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir. Now, if you look at the plans that they are having right now, it is a strategy that all of these two warring factions are eyeing the gubernatorial post in 2027. First thing we must remember, that since the election of Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir, one thing that convinces these parties that they can have a shot at governor's position in 2027 is that Abdul Somad seems to be a weak candidate. Remember that in 2022, there was a serious contention between Abdul Somad and the then businessman Shabal. Shabal was convinced by Raila Odinga, was also convinced by Uhuru Kenyatta to shelve his ambitions and take up national roles in the event that Raila Odinga won the presidential election. But as fate could have it, we remember that they did not win. And therefore, since Abdul Somad had been given that space, he had an opportunity to run. Another com competition that he had was Sonko. But Sonko through court system was barred from running in that election. And therefore, having the past in the mind and remembering how Abdul Somad lobbied to get that position, these two people believe that Abdul Somad remains a weak candidate and can easily be flawed regardless of the party that he is in. It is for this reason that I think these two people think that they have a shot to this position. And therefore, they are angling themselves to get closer to that election. Remember, if you check, you realize that the two parties, one of them is now the vice chair of UDA party, who is Hassan Sarai. And Mohamed Ali remains a two-term member of parliament in Nyali constituency. 
if you look at this, the person who gets to control officials in Mombasa County has an easier chance to get tickets and get grassroots mobilization for getting the ticket to run in UDA party during 2027 elections. And therefore, for me, if you ask me, I believe the gubernatorial election that is supposed to happen in 2027 is one of the serious issues that is causing this rift between these two parties. Another thing is that you realize that Raila Odinga is likely not going to be in the ballot. And if he is not in the ballot, critical posts that have depended on his presidential campaign, like governor, like members of parliament, they are likely to be toss up positions. And in this regard, they believe that they are ready and willing to take up that challenge. The second reason that I think is causing this rift between Hassan Omar and Muhammad Ali is that, remember, Muhammad Ali remained the sole face of UDA party and the William Ruto presidential campaign in 2022 in Mombasa County. If you are in Mombasa, the only person who was selling UDA in the whole of Mombasa County was Muhammad Ali. And this now comes out that Muhammad Ali remains a member of parliament with no serious party position and party leadership position. And then Hassan Sarai Omar, who was just assisted, gets to be the vice chair of the party. You know how these parties work. Officials have an upper hand when it comes to making serious decisions in the party, especially when it comes to nomination and elections. And therefore, the seniority wars that is between Hassan Omar and Mohamed Jichopevu is a clear cause of this rift that is happening. If you watch at this video, you will realize that Mohamed Ali is stating everything that he did and they did to Hassan Sarai. Yeye anatumia chama, nguvu ya chama is an interim vice chair. Bye mwezi wa 8 utakuwa na uchaguzi. Tutakuwa na viongozi walio na dira. Sarai tulimleta hapa, alisaidiwa na Muhammad Ali. Mimi ndio nilimpeleka kwa rais. Tukamleta hapa, nikamsaidia, akasaidiwa na soko, akasaidiwa na alimboko, akasaidiwa na wabunge hapa 56, akapewa zaidi ya milioni 186. Alikula pesa zote, leo narudi tena kutuambia chama ni yake. Tutamuonyesha hii chama ni nani na UDA tutatoka asilimia 44 tufike paka asilimia 100 iwalo na liwe. Nataka kuhakikishia wana UDA certificate ya UDA haitoki kwa Hassan Sarai. Certificate ya UDA inatoka kwa wananchi wa Jamhuri ya Kenya na hawa wananchi wa Mombasa. Kwa hivyo kama ana hila maana anashindana siku anashindana nani? Kama ana hila ya kutibua mikutano kwa sababu ana ajenda hana lolote. Mimi namwambia wewe focus na Arusha. Tulikupeleka huko kwa msitu, utulie huko, uangalie mambo ya East Africa. But if you want to come back here kwa sababu ya kuharibu chama, hiyo hatutakubali. Leo mkutano mimi kwangu it was a very successful one. Tumejua ni nani ndio mbaya. Tumejua ni nani ataki chama na tumemjua Sarai kutoka zamani. The third and final reason for this was between Hassan Sarai and Mohamed Jichopevu is the struggle to control UDA campaign money and UDA party positions in the county. I want you to know one thing. Every time UDA conducts a political campaign or a political undertaking in any region, you will realize that one of the things that they do is send huge packs of money in that region. This voter registration exercise is consuming large sums of money. And therefore, UDA party members have known that any time they have an activity happening in their regions, there is some serious money that is coming. Look at the trail of party registration that has been happening across the country. You will note that in Isiolo, there was some commotion. You will note again, in Marsabit, there was some commotion. You will note again, when you went to Omabe County, there was some commotion. And therefore, 
the issue of campaign money and the money facilitation money that is always given to these leaders is also a critical issue here you will realize that the mode of registration that Malala has been sending across different regions. When he went to Sierra for registration, it is alleged that he distributed huge sums of money there. And he also said that for you to get any appointment in this government, you must have a UDA party membership card. In this instance, you will note that Everybody who is a politician would want to have that influence, put people in position and also put people in areas where they can get employment and also the money that this party is using in conducting these events. You know that UDA has had a different strategy when it comes to registration. They have gone to areas where they got little votes. They have gone to Nyanza, they have gone to to northeastern province they have also gone to western kenya a little bit of it and then they have gone to coast these are some of the regions that were under control of odm and therefore if you understand the brand of politics that william ruto has played all this time you will note that he is a person who likes giving handouts to take control of your perception and opinion this is why i believe the control of campaign money is also a major issue that is bringing rift between those these two parties. That's my opinion. And I believe if you dig deeper, you'll realize that these are some of the reasons why these two people are at loggerheads. Thank you for watching till this end. I don't know what you think about it. Do you have any other opinion? If you have a different opinion, kindly take a minute or two to talk to us down in the comment section. Tell us where you're watching from and then give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Consider subscribing and let's meet in our next video. Thank you and may God bless you.